Hi, my name is Simon Marsh. I'm the workflow manager here at Sony Electronics. I'm actually in the DMPC, which is our digital motion picture center in Culver City on the Sony lot. And uh, what I want to show you today are updates for the uh, SRPC4 uh, version two, high speed file transfers using the 10 gigabit ethernet network. What I have here, I have an SRPC4 running version two software. I have a Sonnet expansion chassis for Thunderbolt running a 10 gig Miracom network card and I have a Promise RAID running on Thunderbolt. So I have a basic system all based around Thunderbolt and 10 gigabit ethernet. So very easy for connectivity and very fast. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply load the card in and have it mount on the drive. And I'm going to use a browser to actually log into the, uh, the SRPC4. I can use Safari, I can use Chrome, I can use Explorer, I can use Firefox. So I simply just uh, click on mount using NFS and I can see that I've connected to the Promise RAID. I've created a folder here called DMPC and under that I have a folder called Card1. I'm going to transfer my files to that Card1 folder. So now, now that I'm in the Card1 folder, I'm going to go to Import. On the Import page, I can actually review the clips that are on the card. I can play them back immediately with no rendering required, no processing required. I can even output them to an HDSDI monitor for a high quality viewing on set. I can jump to any clip, it will load and I can play it back immediately. So now that I have the, uh, the data that I want on the card, I can go directly to the clip that I want. I have a 43 second clip here. It's an F65 raw light file. And what I want to do, I want to transfer that and I want to measure the time, how long it takes to transfer the file. So I'm going to add that to my clip list. I can see that it is just under six gigabytes in size. And all I can have to do now is I just click start. I've started the stopwatch so I can measure the time it's going to take to transfer the file and I can watch it as it goes across over the 10 gig E. I can see that it's transferring very fast. I can see the remaining time is counting down. I'm down to now to less than uh, I'm at 10 seconds right now for the file transfer. And uh, very soon we'll be able to see how fast this really was. And there we go. I transferred a 43 second S65 raw light file in 26 seconds. That is approximately 1.5 times faster than normal speed at a times one transfer. What I can now do, because I have this directly landed onto my Promise RAID connected via Thunderbolt to my MacBook Pro, I can go straight into my F65 RAW viewer. I can just refresh the viewer and I can see that that clip has now appeared in the browser window. I can now double click on that and it goes into the full viewer. I can even play this back. This is a 4K file playing back at half resolution in real time, no additional processing, no additional rendering required. I can expand that to fit the full screen if I want to. And what I have done here, I've even added a nice ACES IDT, RRT and ODT look transformed to the image to give you an idea of what this will look in a film environment. This is a new feature of our new F65 RAW viewer version 1.1, which is also available right now. Um, that's it for today. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, please check back. We will be doing more releases of videos regarding workflows with our partners and Alliance members for the SR Master family. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Steve Bannerman. I'm the VP of Marketing at Assimilate, and we're here at the Sony DMPC showing off Scratch Lab. Scratch Lab is probably the industry's most powerful and cost-effective production daily solution. It's got all the tools that you need to ingest footage from virtually any camera on the market, to be able to sync audio, manage metadata, QC your image, do primary color grading, and then handle LUTs, whatever, and export to virtually any of the popular data, uh, dailies formats. The great thing about Scratch Lab is that it's um, supported F65 in its native format um, almost from the very beginning, from the first time the uh, SDKs were released to the developers. So you can today um, take uh, F65 footage directly into Scratch Lab. Uh, in fact, one of the very first F, uh, commercial F65 shoots was done by a theater troupe in Argentina last month called Fuerza Bruta. 
uh, and we actually debuted the footage from that shoot at the, the world's first F-65 workflow event here at the DMPC in, um, in July of this year. Uh, so Scratch Lab handles the footage just fine. Uh, in fact, it can handle side by side uh, the footage from virtually any camera. So if F65 is your primary camera on a shoot and you want to bring in some F3s or maybe a camera, a, a DSLR camera or a GoPro, uh, you can easily mix and match all those formats in Scratch Lab. And of course, our new version of Scratch Lab that we've just announced is also fully ASUS compliant. So um, it, it handles the F65 workflow um, even that much better. So Scratch Lab and F65 are a match made in heaven. Um, hi, I'm Amy Hawthorne and I'm with MTI Film. And we are here at the Sony DMPC showing off our new Cortex family, which is a dailies workflow solution that works with the F65 camera and is also SR Master certified. And so I'll show you a little bit about what it does. And we'll open up one of the jobs we've, we've already done today in a training session. And what this is is actually three different products and they nest a little bit like Russian dolls. We've got a product called Capture, which is for onset look setting, primary color correction. Uh, you can see I've just got a little laptop here today, but you can attach tangent wave panels if you want, or else use the GUI to do your primary color correction. And of course, it's saving that just as metadata. It's not touching the original camera media. And when you're ready to output that into some form of deliverable for either editorial or for review, it will apply the color correction as specified. And so that brings us to our next level of product, which is called Convey and it includes all of the, the functionality of Capture. So it can do color correction primary, and I should mention that we can export ASC CDLs, we can export 1D and 3D lookup tables, and of course we have still stores, export JPEGs, TIFFs, etc. And Convey adds the actual transcoding functionality. So what you're gonna do is ahead of time set up some templates, and you can see here we've got one for an iPad, we've got a ProRes proxy, we have a DPX file and a DNX HD, and each of those has a different type of burn-in with different information in it, a different aspect ratio as needed, a different resolution for whatever the output needs. And as I go through and do my color correction and approve each of the takes, Convey is going to work in the background, and you can see it's doing that right now, to transcode those to whatever formats I need for output. And it's nice because it's working in the background so I can keep working doing the color correction. And for the F65, if you are doing a half res or greater, I guess is the right term, um, decompress, we can actually transcode to any output format you need for review or editorial in real time or faster, just depending on what GPUs and CPUs you have going on in the computer. And so that's Convey. It's very useful. It's not very sexy. It's just working in the background. And then when we go up to the highest level of product, which we call Cortex Control Dailies, and is built on our enterprise solution from the past 10 years of doing digital dailies called Control Dailies Enterprise, that's where things get really sexy. Uh, that's when you can start synchronizing your audio and image, both automatically or with manual precision down to a quarter frame. And if we take a look at one of these takes that I've already synchronized, you'll see that it can pull in all of the metadata that's coming from both the video and the audio files. And of course, as the user, I can edit any of that where I need it. And that's what's going to feed those templates so that when I export it in Convey, it's pulling in my scene taking camera information, my audio and video time code, and anything else I might want to define for whoever is going to see it in the end. And we've organized everything in such a way to try to make the workflow as easy and simple as possible. So whether you're using this on set with someone who's never done dailies before or you're putting it in a facility where you've got someone who's been doing this for years and wants that kind of manual control. You have all of those options. It's easy to use. You don't need a big engineering staff. And we can quickly get your F65 material wherever you need it to go. And as one little bonus, we can actually support other kinds of cameras. So for example, if F65 is your main camera, but you're dropping in some shots like GoPro, those we don't care, we're agnostic. Once you bring it in, it's in the same timeline, you can work with all of those different formats, 
and make sure that your editor never has to worry about the fact that you're using two different cameras. And so that's, that's what we've got here. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Peter Post, West Coast Sales Manager for Filmlight here at uh, Stage 7, the DMPC for Sony, um, showing off base light transfer and base light for final color correction. So base light is a full color tool. I'm actually sitting at a base light transfer station right now, which is our daily system, so that can ingest the raw F65 data, uh, sync it with audio, color grade it, manage all the metadata to assign you know, scene and take numbers, all that sort of stuff, and then render all your dailies deliverables. Uh, and Baselight is a very flexible system. Uh, it comes turnkey with hardware and software, so you have plenty of storage on site for managing all your uh, F65 media, uh, backing up to LTO tape, and uh, delivering it on to production. Um, of course, you have the sophisticated color tools of Baselight as well. Um, you can do your standard lift gamma gain kind of grading, or you can go much further with secondaries, do keying, do shapes, do tracking, all of that. Typically that's saved for final production, but the nice thing is is that with base light transfer and base light as a final color tool, you have the same color tool set. Um, so what you do for dailies, you can use as your starting point for final color correction and, and save a lot of time. Uh, the other nice thing about base light is it can decode the F65 at full resolution, full 4K and in real time. So you can just you know, import the footage and once it's on there, hit play. Uh, watch it all play back at speed and of course do your final delivery rendering at real time as well. Right, so here I have the Filmlight Image Processor or Flip Box. Uh, this is for live onset color grading. So it's taking the live feed out of the F65 camera, the S log S gamut feed, and is able to color correct it. Uh, and you can choose from a variety of different color corrections that have been preset in post production or go in here and build your own. There's a little browser where you can browse through all the looks that you have. Um, you can adjust the grade using the touch screen and the, the trackball here. Um, and there's also uh, some built-in tools like a waveform monitor, uh, vectorscope, uh, parade view. So it's a very sophisticated tool for developing your color grade on set. And of course, these color grades feed into base light transfer for dailies and the final base light color corrector. It's the same tool set throughout. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about these tools, visit our website at filmlight.ltd.uk.